welcome to Playhouse on Park Stage Door Series. It's our first episode in this series, and we're going to be speaking to Jordan Sobel. He is Asher Lev in the play My Name is Asher Lev. Many of you know it by the book written by Chaim Potok and the play written by Aaron Posner. Hello, Asher Lev, or should I say Jordan Sobel? Well, let's go with Jordan Sobel, but, Jordan. I'll, but I'll take the greeting. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for having me. So tell me, why don't we start with, a lot of people know the book. In fact, a lot of Jewish people know the book. Yeah. It's sort of recommended reading for every Jewish person. Yeah. But tell us what the play's about. So uh, I think Aaron Posner has done a really beautiful job of um, maintaining very much what Chaim Potok has created in this book. Um, so it's about a young Hasidic boy in 1950s Brooklyn. Like yourself? Uh, not quite. Close. <laughs> I'm a, I, uh, I uh, am Jewish. Uh, I'm not a Hasidic Jew, um, but uh, certainly I connect to the experience of, of um, being Jewish in this play. Certainly. So you connect with being Jewish. What about the Hasidic? Did you have any Hasidic background? or? Uh, me personally, no. I, I, um, it, is, it is very cool that the play... Um, uses sort of a, a fictitious uh, town in, in uh, Eastern Europe in Russia, mm -hmm. um, but the book and thus the play, uh, it is an Eastern European, a Russian background of Has Hasidism. Is that you? Are uh, you it is my, yeah, my family is Eastern European. There's a little bit of uh, Russian and Polish and German in my background. Um, so yes, sort of plays like Indecent that has been very popular in the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, Indecent and uh, now uh, My Name is Asha Lev. Um, these plays, for me, I feel I feel like it is the telling of, of my family and of, of my history. You're bonded. Yeah, very much okay, so. Okay, so keep going. Tell me a little bit more about the play. Sure. Um, so the play is about this young boy who is torn between um, this unquenchable passion for creation and for art and for drawing. And he's torn between this feeling and, and knowing as an observant and... Um, an observant Jew that there, he's in conflict with his family, with his religion, with his relationship to both. Um, and so the play kind of takes us through his life from kind of a, a flashback and a flash forward to um, this experience and the struggle of what it is to be, be called to something, be yearning to do something to create and have that be in conflict with everything you believe and everything you've been taught and your relationship with yourself and with your parents and with your religion and your community. So what about you? I mean, you're a, a nice Jewish boy. I <laughs> think you. I can say Thank that you. easily. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you're a nice Jewish I'll boy. I'll take it, I'll take and it. And most nice Jewish parents want their children, want their nice Jewish boy <laughs> children to be doctors, lawyers, sure, and maybe sure. an accountant, yeah. but 100% not an actor. Yeah, it's, um, my parents, uh, uh, Truly, in, in every production I work in, I thank my parents in my, my bio in the program because from a very early age, I wanted to be uh, a drummer, and then I wanted to be an ice hockey player, and now I'm an actor. And at every twist and turn of my uh, whimsy, they mm -hmm. have been 300% loving, supportive parents, which is, is I cannot express my, my gratitude and how much that just helps. Well, did they know. ever have a little bit of misgiving? Because you're on the road, you've been traveling around, yeah, sure. you've worked all over the country. Yeah. So is there a little, can you feel something, a little <laughs> tension there? Like you're now, how old are you now? I'm 29 now. So 29 years old, can you feel a little tension? Like Jordan, why don't you get married? Why <laughs> no, don't you settle down? No, they are so, it is, it's incredible. They, why I mean, don't you have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they are certainly my Jewish parents in that they care and they love and they are, are always, I think there's always some part of them that's a little worried, as all parents are a little, I will always be a child in my parents' eyes, as you know it is for so many, regardless of your background. Um, but no, actually, they are truly the only the only misgiving I think is self generated. I I feel like you know they've given me so much, and I want to be able to um, give back to them in every way that I can. And uh, the acting career is not always uh, it's there's a lot of up and down and hills and valleys, and and so the only 
Jewish guilt, I think, is coming from myself. Uh, well, the, not, uh, you the way you can give back, I'm a Jewish mother, yeah, I yeah. can tell you, be super successful. Sure, That's sure. it. I'm working on it. That's the answer. Yeah, yeah. So this, this play, though, it's about an artist. Mm -hmm. It's about an artist. Do you have that feeling that you are the artist? Is there something that you relate to in this play? Yeah. Tell me your relationship. Yeah, it's, that's a beautiful question. Um, I... So to kind of bridge both these questions, I think um, I'm, I'm I'm not a doctor and I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a politician and I'm not I'm not and you're not an accountant. And I'm not an accountant. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not working in the world in a way that is sort of a very tangibly fixing or doing or making something for the better in a tangible sense like that. But I do think anyone who works in any art form, whether it's theater television, film, uh, whether it's uh, you're an artist, a musician, and I think any art form, truly, is, um, can be and ought to be just as giving to the world, creating, helping the world become a better place, uh, helping, not, and I don't mean that necessarily just in an altruistic sense, I mean, um, I mean really, to, to hold, as it were, the mirror up to nature, to reflect the, the state of the world and you know to try what, to make it better. You know how I used to express it? What's that? I used to express it because people, I, I had a little bit of your background, mm. and I used to say that I'm enhancing life yeah. for people. That when you're in front of the audience, and you're in this beautiful play, and mm. people are watching, and they're feeling good, they're really feeling good, that's good at that that's it. Sure. Enhancing life for yeah. everybody else. What could be better? Well, and whether it's good, whether the feeling is good, or whether it's simply feeling. I mean, I think there's something really important about exposing the human condition to other humans. You know, I think we, we go about our days, and it's so it's so easy to get wrapped up in. We in, forget. We, yeah, we forget. We that forget. At the end of the day, every single person is just another human, and so there's something really beautiful I think about any any art form. And this is where it becomes helpful and, and um, for the betterment of the world is that by exposing the human condition, we remind ourselves and each other what it is to love and to feel and to, to be connected to, to other be. people in the world, to be, to, to be, exist. To, to be. To exist, and so yeah. this, this, this play that we're talking about, mm -hmm. Asher Lev, you get that sense that you're exposing? Yeah. Oh man, this why? play. Why? Why? Tell me why. Well, because <clears throat> certainly the the journey for my character in this play, um, it, it's it's because you're Asher Lev. Yeah. You are yeah. the artist. You are the one who's in conflict. Mm -hmm. You are the one who is starting to be divorced from your family, from your community. Mm. It's you. It's me. It's me. But it, it is also every other actor in the play. There's two other actors in the play. Mm -hmm. So it's a really fun experience that these 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 three actors. I play Ashlev the whole way through, from a little boy to a teenager to uh, the man, and you kind of see him in various stages of this life. But the two other actors um, play every other man and woman in my life over my lifetime, and it's really fun. So you get to see these actors kind of it's one. So you see a metamorphosis. It's yeah, it's like there's it's there it's so impressive. To is me. it a complicated play, or can anyone understand it? Um, it is for anyone. It is for you anyone. you know. Yeah, I don't think I think. Um, if you come from a Hasidic Jewish background, there are certainly things in the play that will you might pick up on or will make sense to you in a way that they might not to others. However, the play itself and the way that we're presenting it is a completely universal story. It deals with, I mean, yes, I'm the artist in conflict, but you're watching a mother in conflict um, who wants her son to be happy and who is also concerned that her son is, 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 is you know, going astray or they say going off the derrick yeah going off that's the, derrick. the expression sure, sure. <laughs> and you and you have a father who loves his son and loves um loves his job what he does traveling around for the rebbe um you know making the world a better holier place and he has a son who is like, also falling off the derrick so you watch these parents and as a parent you can relate to what it is to love your child and want what's best for them and knowing not knowing how to communicate at all times you, there's a conflict between um, the art, the mentor of this young artist who sees, who, who at one time, you know, left his own, he, he has a line here where he says, um, without giving too much away, but he has no, a line. No, no, give away. Yeah, I, like to, I want you to give away. He, he has a line, you know, uh, that talks about the, the cost of pursuing art. 
the cost of pursuing something that is not what you are supposed to pursue um, or you are told to pursue. Um, that there's a cost involved. So, so for anyone, you know. What's your favorite part in the play? Oh. Is it that part? You know, it's, it's tough. I, my favorite part, our, our director, um, Joe Disher, who's, who's a delightful, delightful person to work Didn't with. Didn't he direct also uh, The Chosen? I thought he directed uh, I don't know if he directed The Chosen. One of our other actors, Dan Shore, was in The Chosen. Ah, that's um, probably where I Joe remember Joe has directed him. at this with here before, and I, but I don't, I don't think it was The Chosen. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but our director uh, has, there's, there's really beautiful moments with music in the play. And one of my favorite moments in the play um, is just the connectivity of music to one of the speeches and the way it kind of... Uh, when you hear a really good piece, of, when I hear a really good piece of music, anyway, you know, I breathe. And I, you I were, breathe and, and you it, were, you know. and you were a drummer. I was. Yeah, so I was a drummer. You, so you connect even more to it. I do, I do. Um, but yeah, there's something really, really, um, just effort, effort. You know. Do you just feel it? it? Yeah, yeah. What about, um, like, at the end, what's the decision? Like, what does he do? What does the artist do? Does he hmm. choose the art, or does he choose to be? what his expectation is in the community? Well, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to answer this question without, without mm -hmm. um, exposing too much of the journey of the play, but I'll say that um, I, I start and end the play uh, with my name. My name is with, Asher Love. My name Love. is Asher Love, yeah. And, and there's something... Um, so you're the narrator also? Yeah, it's, it's a really cool, I, I really love how Aaron Posner has, has crafted this, this story where he, I have a direct relationship with the audience, where I, I have kind of direct communication with so them. So you talk right yeah, to I'll the be, audience. Yeah, I'll be looking right at you in the eyes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And from that narration, from that, from that um, kind of this dialogue that you and I have, I then step into whatever age, uh, and You're supposed moment. to be. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's really beautiful. It's almost like I'm remembering this moment and decide that this moment is important for you to understand. Um, Aaron Posner has a really cool direction at the beginning of the play that says something along the lines of um, that it's, it's, a, it's a defense, it's a non-apology, it's an explanation. It's it's whatever of, of all these things it could be. It's it's I'm choose the character Asher Lev is choosing to craft and rebuild the story for you, the audience, to understand. There's a lot of t there's a lot of talk in the play about do you understand? Don't you think? Don't you find? You know, I really love I love getting to ask the audience a genuine question saying do you do you relate can you understand what i'm, I'm saying understand i'm feeling exactly what you're saying <laughs> good, good. that i can feel that you're talking to the audience and then you want to show them this is what i'm talking about yeah yeah here's the sample mm -hmm. here's the sample i can feel that yeah so i asked mm -hmm. you the question before you didn't answer it <laughs> so what does he what's the decision at the end what does he do what does the artist do how does the artist reconcile sure um, there is one of the most beautiful things about this play is that it talks about truth and that you have to be true to oneself. And so throughout the play and, and you know, certainly towards the end and by the end, uh, there is an assertion that one must be, I must be true. I must be true to myself. And in the case of Asher Love, it's beautiful that he, this conflict he wrestles with, he is an observant Jew and he is an artist. And how do you, how do you, do you have to resolve that conflict? The play, in a way, almost even asks, does one have to choose? Can you be both? Well, can um, you? I, cer I certainly think so. I certainly think, um, you know, what it, now what it means to be observant and pursue something that perhaps goes against that observance, that's, that's sort of the tricky question, but I think everybody gets to answer that for themselves. You know, I think religion can be like you know we uh, we said um, religion can be a very is a very deeply personal thing as much as it is a community thing and a social thing it's deeply personal and I think uh, that's one of the things I, I, I enjoy about religion is we kind of within the constructs of whatever faith one follows I think even within that you get to 
have your own experience of what that is. But you don't you know? have to be Jewish. What I'm hearing you mm. say is that uh, the play is demonstrating these thoughts with Jewish characters, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be Jewish to understand the conflict, wrestling with God, wrestling with, wrestling with yourself. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, absolutely. I, I want to be an actor. I want to be an artist. Yeah. But, but I have to earn a living. Yeah. And I have four children. It's, it, is abs it, is, it is one of the most universal stories, conflicts, um, interpersonal dramas I, I've ever, you know, it's, it's, about, it's about a young child and his inability to talk to his father. It's about his love and confusion and fear of, of his parents and wanting to do right by them and wanting to feel loved by them and them wanting to love their son. And um, so it's about the relationships of, of parents and children. It's about the relationships of mentors and mentees. It's about the relationship of oneself in the world and finding one's place as an artist. Do as, you, you know, feel? Do you identify strongly with this character? Like, do you feel that you are Asher Lev on some level? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I do. It's <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, what part of you is Asher Lev? The part of Asher Lev that just he he feels something is either right or not right and he has to know i'm a, i think i'm a, I'm a very mm -hmm. curious I'm, I'm a very curious person and, and it's really really charming seeing asher Lev as a young boy because he just is so curious he has so many questions about well why does the world work like this why do you have to do this well what does that mean can you explain that and you see yourself that you had that sort of Questioning. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm a very curious, questioning person, and also somebody that, um, just the, he's a strongly feeling person. He's a very um, he's passionate. He's passionate and curious, and and is in the pursuit of truth. And uh, I, I certainly you, see, you feel that. Yeah, as a, as, That's an, you. as an actor and as somebody who's interested in exploring the human condition and why and the human psychology, why we are the way we are, how we are the way we are. Um, what does that mean? How does that become? Yeah, I think that's that's sort of a an easily traceable theme thing for me. Yeah, sure. that's the Jordan certainly. Sobel yeah, theme a little bit. Certainly, well, yeah. you know, you started. You told me that uh, you were a drummer, mm -hmm. and then you were a hockey player, yeah. and now you were an actor. Mm -hmm. And so, why did you switch to acting? Like, why acting? How did that happen? Sure. Um, because hockey is yeah, physically very, very active, and we don't identify hockey players as big thinkers, <laughs> and we don't identify drummers as big thinkers sure. or curious people. Man, these, these professions get some bad rap, huh? <laughs> well, just think of it, you know? Uh, yeah, no, sure. Um, it's interesting. I, first of all, I think having done those two things for a very, very long time in my life have lended to becoming an actor. I think being a musician, being an athlete, um, knowing what it's like to be on a team, to to uh, be playing with other people, the sense of play in general, what it is to listen and to respond. I think all of the skill sets that are from those two other things that are inherent in those are inherent in, in this theater yeah. and creation too. I would agree with you. Yeah, good. I think that everything helps. Yeah. If you're an actor, yeah. there's nothing, there's no experience that doesn't add to that. You have to. I think. I think one. The more life experience, the more experience of what how the world is and what other things in the world are, mm -hmm. only only you know we we all become uh, a richer, fuller person with with every life experience. Yeah. you know, and, and, and especially so an important. actor, yeah. because an actor you have to be conscious. Like I know a little bit about Hasidic Jews, mm -hmm. and they walk differently. If you take mm -hmm. a look at how they're walking. They walk differently. There's a sense about them that's different. Mm. There's a there's a modesty about their walk. Did you were you conscious of that? The physicality. They don't walk like <laughs> athletes. Yeah, I uh, you know, <laughs> inter yeah, interesting. I w am conscious of my physicality in creating this character. Not necessarily, not from like a Hasidic character study necessarily, but what it was to be. Um, 
to not have grown up playing sports. You know, this. In That's the, right. Right, and you know, in, in this, this, in the life of this young boy, because this is all I can speak to, is, mm -hmm. is my creating of this young boy. Um, he wasn't. I, he did not grow up an athlete. He did not grow up playing with other kids in school. He. he I have a line where I say. Um, uh, Eberhard and Crayola were my dearest companions. You know, my, my writing tools were my only friends. So that to me, I started there. I started from, you know, I grew up, Asher Lev grows up in a very uh, studious household. His father is, um, his father is sort of a, uh, an emissary um, for um, the, the, the Rebbe of their community. So he's out meeting with important people all day and he's reading and studying perpetually. So I grew up, and my mother also comes, you know, in the book, comes from this um, educated, studious standpoint. So I started there. I, I started with a kid, a young kid who it was always drawing at every second, drawing in everything, on everything, with anything he could find, and without friends, and probably not getting outside a whole lot. And so I, that my physicality starts more from that psychology. But you're conscious of it. That's what I was. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was. Uh, I'm, I'm at the point now where it's no longer conscious. It's now sort of. Um, it, you're doing it's it. naturalized. And and I and I <coughs> see also the play is doing well. I mean, you haven't started the play, mm -hmm. but you've already increased the performances. Yeah. So that means yeah, that you must be of, getting a lot of people. There's a lot of interest. A lot it's, of interest. It's very. I actually didn't realize how special this book was to to the to the world I, i've mentioned this book to many men I'm, i've mentioned to my friends and family i'm doing this play Every, everyone knows everybody Jews, has read -Jews, I mean, everybody has read my name is yeah, asher Lev. Yeah. there's nobody who hasn't read that and so i think that inherently is an exciting mm -hmm. opportunity um and again i think aaron posner has this beautiful adaptation of an already wonderful story and, if, and like again I, I can't drive it home enough mm -hmm. a incredibly universal story and so when when is the show going on so we have um, our first sort of uh, audience tonight and tomorrow which are called previews we have our sort of our, right. our uh, fine the final fine tuning mm -hmm. as it were and, and to, to add sort of this final element of an audience is tonight and tomorrow and then we open officially on the 26th, which is which Friday. Is Friday night. And then we run through May 12th. Friday night, April 26th. Uh, Friday, starting Friday night, April 26th, mm -hmm. and running till May 12th. Till May 12th, and yeah. that's with the added, uh, with the with the added performances. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's on a play. That's at. Uh, uh, Playhouse on Park yeah. on on Park Road and performances are at eight o'clock at night or oh I should have looked that up um, I'm not gonna give you a definitive answer because I don't want to be wrong so okay. I will direct you to the uh, the website to the website and or to the box office call or email or call or email or look on their website and all the information I should look that up for you well, all, all right. that that's information right. is there for you so absolutely. is there anything else you want to tell me about the play besides uh, go and see it. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, please, please come see it. Um, we'd love to have you, and we'd love to share the story with you. Um, I don't know, I think I just, ending with the idea that it's a play about, um, about love and curiosity and, and, and humanity and... Um, and conflict. And conflict, yeah. And, and it truly is for every person to come see. Right, that's think, what I'm hearing. You know? I'm hearing that it's a universal yeah, story. Yeah, so much so. Like a real big universal story. Yeah. I mean, it's fun if you're Jewish to go and see it. Jewish people love seeing mm -hmm. plays about themselves, mm -hmm. but uh, it's also fun and it's also important if you have a conflict. Yeah. And there's nobody in the world who doesn't have a conflict. Yeah. And it's funny. I mean, the play is also funny. There's a lot of humor inherent in, in what it is to for someone of a very specific place and time to be thrust into this world that is so different and so, you know, what, what, how the natural conflict within us sometimes can also just be very humorous, how life sometimes, and even in its most tragic moments, is also very funny. Right, and, we, you know. Know about that. Yeah. we know about that. Yeah. Um, we've been talking to Jordan Sobel. He's the he is the Asher Lev in My Name is Asher Lev, playing at a Playhouse on Park, starting April twenty sixth and ending May twelfth. Uh, a few a few shows have been added to the roster. That's the only reason they add shows to the roster is because they're filling up. So get your tickets fast. Go and see the play. Be there. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Thanks for having me.